Hey Ted, so we got this core project coming up. Do you have any ideas what we could do for it? Yeah, I got one. I have a time machine. Radical! Hey, <laughs> check out my time machine. Sick, dude. So, who should we go back and find first? Let's do like Gilgamesh. Alright, but when was he from? I don't know. Let's just type in... Whoa! Where are we right now? I don't know, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> where do you think we could find Gilgamesh in a place like this? <laughs> Maybe somewhere over there. Let's go take a look. Come on! <laughs> Ted, look at these protein bars. He must be nearby. Dude, yeah. Let's go take a look. There he is. Gilgamesh! <laughs> Look at that too. What's up? Like, do you want to like help us out with our project? Like, oh yeah. Yeah? <laughs> like we're from the future though, so you're gonna have to like come back with us. That's alright. I just gotta get my protein powder and my spirits. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Awesome man, now that we found Gilgamesh, let's go look for Freud. Sick dude, let's go back to my time machine. Sick dude, now that we got Gilgamesh, let's go find Freud. Alright. Here we go. Excellent. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Bill, get over here. Look who I found. It's Freud. <laughs> Freud, dude, what's up? Just pondering life? You wouldn't understand. Come on, can you just help me out with my core project? You're only here to pleasure yourself. <laughs> no, I don't even know what that means. Maybe I can interview you. Yeah, I'll enlighten you. All right, I'm feeling we should interview Frankel now. For sure. Send it, bro. Whoa! Hey, Ted, look who I found over here. Come on. Hey, Frankel, how's it going? I was wondering if you want to come back in time with me and help me finish a radical project. Sure. I would be more than happy to help. Excellent. I'm feeling like we need to get enlightened. Let's go talk to Krishna. Totally, dude. the entire universe over there meditating. Krishna. Krishna. <laughs> hey everything, would you mind helping me out with my core project? As long as it's bringing you enlightenment to your true self. Sick. Hey Gokomesh, what's up? Uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, just want to start off by telling us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Um, my name is Gilgamesh. I'm the ruler of Uruk. Uh, a few of my hobbies include weightlifting, fratting it up with my bros, and taking the occasional bride. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> All right, sick, sick. Let's just get a little deeper now. Um, Gilgamesh, what's the meaning of life? So I think uh, ultimately the meaning of life is to achieve eternal life and fame, one of which I've already achieved <laughs> by defeating Humbaba with uh, my brother Enkidu, R.I.P. <laughs> I've got one more question for you before we let you go. Um, a little bit more modern, so, uh, yeah, so what's your opinion on Trump? You know, how are you feeling about the election? Uh, yeah, just tell me about that. Yeah, um, this is a tough one, because, uh, I think Trump's doing a great job making a name for himself in the White House, but, quite frankly, I could have been doing a much better job. Um, so Trump, if you're watching this, meet me out back in 20 minutes and we can figure out who's really fit for the White House. What's yeah. up, Freud? Uh, thanks for coming back with us. Uh, just want to just want to start off. Uh, tell us about yourself a little bit. Uh, my name is Sigmund Freud. I've done a lot of research within the field of psychology. I founded um, psychoanalysis. Um, I also founded the Pleasure Principle. If you don't know what that is, let me enlighten you. It is basically that people avoid all pain in order to find only pleasure within their life. Um, I also wrote Civilization in its discontents. That's, that's me. Sick, dude. Uh, let's just go a little deeper now. Um, so, what's the meaning of life? Well, in society, people <laughs> tend to focus, um, again, on the pleasure principle, which I described earlier. Basically, throughout their life, <laughs> All they're seeking is pleasure, and they avoid pain at all costs. Um, 
sometimes they suppress their pleasure in order for society to function, but most of the time they're seeking pleasure. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, Freud, before we let you go, I'm just going to ask you, uh, so how are you feeling about the 2016 election? Hmm, well, well, I don't necessarily agree with all of Trump's um, rulings and decisions. Um, I do say that he's a classic case of somebody purely following their natural instincts and desires and fulfilling the pleasure principle. Um, also, I highly recommend therapy if you're watching this, Trump. Hey, we're here with Viktor Frankl. Um, would you mind just telling us a little bit about yourself and just what you're about, man? Totally. Um, so, I am the author of Man's Search for Meaning, um, an autobiography just about my experiences through concentration camps and just kind of like an introduction to uh, the uh, practice that I founded, Logotherapy. Right on, dude. All right, for sure. Thanks for that introduction. Our next question is going to get a little more serious. Uh, what is the meaning of life? Okay, so um, I'd say the meaning of life, there's not just one for everyone. It's pretty individual-based, I believe. Um, but there are three ways to find the meaning of life, which I believe in. Um, the first one is creating a work or being a part of something that you're very passionate about. Um, loving someone or... Um, or going through a little suffering, and it's not to avoid or be in denial that there is suffering, that's what life's about, but it's about being, and like, coming out of that, and finding happiness, and, uh, the light within you, that will give you meaning. All right, Victor, so our last question for you is gonna be, what are your thoughts on, like, the 2016 election, or whatever, and, like, the president? Uh, so that's something I have a very hard time with. Um, I do not agree with Trump and his policies by any means. I think the influence that he has over people and in our society is really making a distinct line between ethnic groups. And based off of my experience, that's not the right path we need to be going down. We need to be united. For sure, dude. Radical. Krishna. Welcome back. Um... So, uh, do you just want to tell us a little about yourself, Krishna? Hi, I'm Krishna. I am the Hindu god of compassion, love, and tenderness. Um, I'm the founder of the four different kinds of yoga, and I'll get into that a little bit later. Alright, sick. Um, now that we're on that whole yoga talk, uh, do you want to go a little bit more in depth about each one? I'm just trying to figure out which one's best for me. <laughs> of course. So, bhakti is the yoga of love. Jhana is the yoga of detachment from all the different senses, and Raja is the yoga of exercise, and then Karma, lastly, is detachment from the end result and having intention with every action. All right, I think I could do that. All right, Krishna, before I let you go back to being quite frankly everything, um, I just got one last question, um, and I have a feeling I know how this is going to pan out, but what's your idea of Trump? Trump is in the path of status, um, on the path to renunciation. That is where he's at. And frankly, I really do believe he could take these different yoga practices and implement them in his life in order to make himself better and society as a whole better. All right. Thanks.